Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Ragus. Uh, I'd like to showcase a couple of rods that I really appreciate and enjoy for river fishing scenarios. Right now behind me, I'm on one of my favorite stretches of river of all time. And what I found are smallmouths are in post-spawn. So early June, the way we like to fish rivers, top waters, spinner baits, uh, jerk minnows, uh, tube baits, bottom baits, crawfish imitators, stuff like that. So a couple rods that I want to showcase here is spinner bait rod. I'm using a six foot eight inch medium heavy fast mojo bass. This is a jig and baits rod. Very good for spinner baiting and top waters. The six eight medium heavy fast action also doubles well as a jerk bait rod as well. So to cover water, catch fish, this is the rod I like. And I do like the shorter length, uh, mainly just for more awkward and difficult casting angles that you'll encounter. The next rod that I really like, the next rod that I would really like to showcase is my crankbait rod. This is an all time favorite for all, all, all seasons river fishing. It's the Legend Glass 7.2 Media Moderate. Uh, what I like about this rod, uh, the S Glass Blank, it fights current very well behind me. You hook into a big fish in the current, uh, that fish is automatically going to set the hook into itself with that S Glass rod. Uh, currently I have it rigged and ready with the Rapala DT4. Um, this bait I use year round on the river system and it's pulled with 10 pound uh, fluorocarbon line. Uh, highly recommend this for all your crankbait fishing. Um, you, you really don't need to beef it up to a longer length rod or to a heavier action rod. Uh, in most river fishing applications, you're really going to be fishing medium divers as well as a shallow diver such as square bill crankbaits and the shallow diver DT4, just like that. But the 7.2, medium moderate, highly recommended, great tool for river fishing. And then the last bait casting rod that I would really like to showcase is the Victory. This is the VTC 71 Medium Heavy Fast. This is the Grunt. What I like about this rod is its multi-purpose application. Uh, I have it spooled up with 12 pound copolymer line right now. I have an X-Wrap pop uh, tied on. But where it also doubles down very well currently with uh, the line of choice that I have, it's a great little rod for spinner baits. If you want to throw 3 8 ac 3 8 ounce, you'll get by with it. Uh, swim jig as well. Uh, I'd go 3 8 ounce also with your trailer of choice. Uh, but for top waters, I still do recommend uh, a copolymer line, low stretch. Uh, it'll float and you'll also be able to set the hooks into a big fish too in current. Uh, but this is a great multi-purpose rod for all seasons too. And depending on season, the application, I also fish the grunt as well with uh, football jigs and bottom bouncing baits. And in that aspect, I would rig up this, the reel then with uh, 20 pound super braids such as Portland Line Master Braid. And then last, we've got a couple spinning setups. Can't fish any river without them. One by one, here are my favorites and my picks of choice. All right now, this is the Victory 7-1 Medium Heavy Fast. This is the Max Finesse. And I have it rigged up with a uh, Chomper Sula Grub and just your, your, weight, your weedless uh, brush guard jig, eighth ounce. Um, what I like about this rod again is its strength. The backbone of the Victory series, that's what epitomizes the rod. Uh, and then beyond that, all the Victory rods have that fast action, action flex, very sensitive, very lightweight. And currently I have this guy spooled up with the 15 pound Cortland Master Braid. And due to the post spawn nature of smallmouth, they're kind of spooky behind me, a bottom oriented jig just like this. And we are matching the hatch with crayfish patterns today. And then two other rods here I want to showcase. This one right here, my all-time favorite, the Legend Elite. This is a seven foot one, medium heavy fast. Actually, it's ES70 MHF, seven footer. This rod right here, my all-time favorite, uh, the sensitivity, the strength. Even though the price point is much high, this is a rod that you're gonna have for life. Uh, this is a rod that's worth the investment. Top of the line, 
the best red money can buy right here, the Legend Elite Series. But the seven foot medium heavy fast, I like that action again to extract fish, big fish from current, uh, whether you're fishing a lake or river. And the way I have it rigged up right here is with the stupid rigged tube jig. Quarter ounce insert, making it weedless so I can work it through all the boulders, rocks, gnarly stuff that's on the river bottom. And there it is right here. And then last but not least, this is my fluke rod. The rod here is a Victory 610 MLXF. This is the lightweight rod. So I had the lightweight last year. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to fish it under, a, a, you know, have it year round. By the time I got it, it was last fall and the type of fishing that we're doing right now wasn't possible then. Uh, but this rod right here, use it for for fishing the x wrap smaller jerk baits um the fluke style minnow the way i like it rigged is just like that i've got a three out ewg with a bait collar and that bait collar makes the bait sink a little so instead of being a surface bait or subsurface it turns into a glide bait and uh where, I, where, where it even excels even further is my choice in fluorocarbon line. I've got eight pound fluoro on here and what happens then, the bait will sink to the bottom. Or um, it'll sink eventually. So that aids in fishing the presentation. So this is the VT, VTS 610 medium light extra fast. And it actually fishes like a straight up medium action. Uh, you know, it's got that backbone again. Same backbone of like a medium heavy. And what I like about it, obviously, hopefully the camera, you can see it, is the fast tip. Just like that. Great for bite detection. So, in conclusion, these are my rods for early summer river fishing. And each season, my rod arsenal changes, it differs. You know, in the fall months, I'm gonna be more oriented to medium heavy fast actions bottom oriented baits um, stuff where you can extract and catch fish from in colder water and then even in early spring too my rods my rods might differ as well but for summer fishing for river smallmouth these are some of my picks and i hope you like these st croix rods the ones that i use as much as i like them too so great rods